now let's look at how host uh, <clears throat> vulnerabilities for open ports and vulnerabilities get into Cloud Guard. So here you can see we have scanned hosts with open ports and vulnerabilities. If I click on the open ports one, we'll get more details. We can see when it first got reported, when it got updated, and a list of all possible open ports, disallowed ports, etc. This is the ports that were found. Excuse me, the open ports are the ones that were found. And these are the ones that are disallowed. <clears throat> so as you can see, two, uh, excuse me, 111 should be right there. 68 and so on. So as soon as we find one port that's open, it will become a, a, uh, an issue, vulnerability, and it becomes a problem here in Cloud Guard. Now, this same host has one or more CVEs. So it's got six critical, 19 high. And <clears throat> You can fine tune if you want highs and criticals only, high critical lows, mediums, etc., to trigger a problem in Cloud Guard. In this case, we've got one or more criticals, so this is definitely going to become a problem in Cloud Guard. And there's a list of the actual CVEs here and the CVEs that are high up above here. This will be sorted in the future. And it will show you when. The event happen and every time it gets updated. So how do you fine-tune those? Well you can take the, the detectors and edit the rules for scan hosts with vulnerabilities and open ports. So let's look at vulnerabilities first. So here we say any medium, high, or critical uh, CVE will become a critical problem. Again, if you think CVE should be higher medium in Cloud Guard, you could change that. Just as you could change this and decide you only want to see high and criticals as problems in Cloud Guard, by saving that, it will change the setting. Now, what about open ports? Same thing here. I want it to be high, critical, medium risk level and uh, problem in Cloud Guard. So that's the risk level here at the top. I can then adjust which ports are not allowed so that if we catch any of these ports open, it's a problem instantly. And that's how to use Cloud Guard with our scanning detectors.